Tuesday, September 12, 2023. AGNDD in Telereport Topic. Encephalitis Lethargica. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated Wikipedia-sourced video article. Encephalitis lethargica is a rare neurological disorder with symptoms ranging from high fever to catatonia. Its causes are uncertain, but it may be linked to autoimmune responses or infectious diseases. Encephalitis lethargica is a rare neurological disorder that causes symptoms such as high fever, sore throat, headache, lethargy, double vision, delayed physical and mental response, sleep disturbances, and catatonia. In severe cases, patients may enter a coma-like state. Other symptoms include abnormal eye movements, Parkinsonism, muscle weakness and pain, tremors, neck rigidity, behavioral changes, and vocal tics. The causes of encephalitis lethargica are still uncertain, although it was previously believed to be connected to the Spanish flu epidemic. Modern research suggests that it may be linked to an autoimmune response or pathologies of infectious diseases such as viral and bacterial infections. The relationship between encephalitis, lethargica, and influenza remains divided, with some evidence supporting a connection and others arguing against it. The exact causative agent of encephalitis lethargica is still unknown, but a possible link to an enterovirus or streptococcus pneumoniae has been suggested. There are several proposed diagnostic criteria for encephalitis lethargica. One widely accepted criterion is an acute or subacute encephalitic illness, where all other known causes of encephalitis have been ruled out. Another criterion suggests that the diagnosis may be considered if the patient's condition cannot be attributed to any other known neurological condition, and they exhibit influenza-like signs, hypersomnolence, ophthalmoplegia, and psychiatric changes. Other symptoms include lethargy, mask-like faces, excess blood in the meninges, and general neurological symptoms. Modern treatment approaches for encephalitis lethargica focus on immunomodulating therapies and addressing specific symptoms. However, there is limited evidence of consistently effective treatment for the initial stages. Steroids have shown some improvement in certain patients. As the disease progresses, treatment becomes symptomatic with drugs like L-DOPA and other anti-Parkinson medications providing temporary relief. Unfortunately, the improvements from L-DOPA are often short-lived. Encephalitis lethargica can cause brain damage similar to Parkinson's disease. Retrospective diagnosis suggests that various historical outbreaks, such as those in Europe in 1580 and London in 1673 to 1675, may have been cases of encephalitis lethargica. Similar epidemics occurred in Germany in 1695, Tübingen in 1712 to 1713, and France and Germany between 1750 and 1800. Neurologist Jean-Martin Charcot documented cases of post-encephalitic Parkinsonism in Paris between 1848 and 1882. In Italy in 1890, a severe epidemic of somnolent illnesses occurred after an influenza epidemic. The most well-known pandemic of encephalitis lethargica occurred worldwide between 1915 and 1926. Encephalitis lethargica, also known as sleeping sickness, emerged in Vienna in 1916 and quickly spread worldwide. It was officially recognized as a distinct disease in 1917. Neurologist Constantine von Economo and physician Jean-René Cruchet were among the first to describe the symptoms and patterns of the illness. The pandemic lasted from 1918 to 1927, with an estimated 1 million people infected and over 500,000 deaths. The influenza pandemic of 1918 may have played a role in the severity of the encephalitis outbreak. The survivors of the 1915 to 1926 pandemic initially appeared to recover fully, but many later developed neurological or psychiatric disorders. These post-encephalitic syndromes varied in their progression, sometimes leading to severe disability or death, while other times progressing slowly or remaining stable for years. Some cases even went into remission. The pandemic was also known to cause post-encephalitic Parkinsonism, PEE. And although it is considered a disease of the past, there are still occasional cases today. Encephalitis lethargica, also referred to as sleeping sickness, has affected notable individuals throughout history. Some examples include Muriel Richardson, the first wife of actor Sir Ralph Richardson, who exhibited symptoms from 1927 to 28 and passed away in 1942. There is speculation that Adolf Hitler may have experienced the condition during his youth. Author Mervyn Peake, renowned for the Gormenghast books, 
suffered a decline attributed to encephalitis lethargica, displaying symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease. Oliver Sacks's book, Awakenings, also delves into cases of this condition. Jane Norton Grew Morgan, the wife of J.P. Morgan, Jr., succumbed to encephalitis lethargica in 1925, initially associated with influenza during the 1918 pandemic. These sources provide information on the history and impact of encephalitis lethargica, also known as sleepy sickness. The books by Crosby, Reed, and Valensky discuss the disease's history, including the epidemic of the 1920s. Sachs' book, Awakenings, focuses on his experiences with patients suffering from encephalitis lethargica. These sources offer insights into the mysterious nature of the disease and its long-term effects. In conclusion, encephalitis lethargica is a rare neurological disorder with uncertain causes. While it was once thought to be connected to the Spanish flu, Modern research suggests other possibilities. The exact causative agent remains unknown. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intele report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.